team coverage continuing this morning with WMAR 2 News' Mark Roper. He is live outside the Giant in Towson with more on how stores are preparing for another flurry of shoppers. Good morning. Good morning, Ashley. You know, since the coronavirus hit the U.S., we've seen people flock to supermarkets and start hoarding, but the large crowds can pose a risk to those who are most vulnerable. So starting this morning, Giant will offer dedicated shopping hours for people age 60 and up, as well as people with compromised immune systems. Now, officials at other stores, such as Whole Foods, Walmart, and Target, as well as Safeway, say they're doing the same. Each giant store in the Maryland, D.C., Virginia, and Delaware area will reserve the hour from 6 o'clock to 7 o'clock each morning to come in and shop so people can get the items they need. Safeway will set aside the hours of 7 to 9 every Tuesday and Thursday morning so those at risk can come in and shop. These changes will allow people who are age 60 and up or have a compromised immune system and they're vulnerable to the dangers of the coronavirus so they'll be able to come in and shop the aisles without getting overwhelmed by the crowds and continue to practice social distancing distancing for their safety. The many stores have been playing catch up and trying to restock essential items which have become hard to find these days. People started hoarding toilet paper, canned goods and other items since the outbreak, st out outbreak started to spread and many stores have found it challenging to keep up with the demand. So limiting the quantities people can buy so they can restock the shelves is something stores are doing. Meanwhile, a Safeway spokesperson says they're not asking for proof from anyone to enter their stores to take advantage of these special hours, but they are asking for something else. We're serving everyone who comes to our stores. We're just politely asking our shoppers to help us and help their community with this special request for all of our most vulnerable neighbors. Now, it may be difficult to see through the fog, but we have seen a few trucks arrive at this giant store this morning to make some deliveries here. And although it is still early, we haven't seen any shoppers arrive here to get an early start on their shopping just as of yet. We're live in Towson, Mark Roper, WMAR2 News.